YOB found guilty of headbutting Roy Keane after seeing red during a brawl at the Emirates has been handed a three-year football ban. Scott Law, 43, knocked the ex-United player through a set of doors after violence erupted. The drama came after the married dad saw red when Keane, 52, celebrated a goal from his former side against Arsenal. Law tried to worm his way out of the attack by claiming the Sky Sports pundit ambushed him and called him a fat C asterisk asterisk. He also attempted to shift the blame by making out Keane simply ran into the top of his head. But the Gunners fan was today found guilty of common assault following an explosive trial. Read more on the case pundits pet Micah branded Keane's puppy after defending friend over fan headbutt game attack Keane denies glorying in Hardman representative as court told he insulted headbutt fan he was handed a three-year football banning order, told to complete 80 hours of unpaid work and ordered to pay £764 in costs. District Judge Angus Hamilton dismissed Law's claims he was acting in self-defense as he returned the verdict. He also said the fan had been untruthful in his account and found the assault was deliberate. Highbury Corner Magistrates Court heard the mayhem unfolded as Keane and fellow pundit Micah Richards sat in the Sky Sports box. Most read in football MADD Ness Madison becomes first player out of England camp with two more reportedly axed not gonna happen Solskjaer misses out on Besiktas job as ex-Arsenal star lands move freezy going Chelsea announce exits of three stars after Enzo Maresca's arrival NOTT wanted Forest release 13 players including Ace who last played three years ago Law was sat in front of the glass studio when he noticed Keane celebrating a United goal, which was later chalked off by VAR. Prosecutor Simon Jones told the court this was a catalyst for the shocking and unlawful attack. As the pundits made their way through the stadium for their pitch-side analysis, Law delivered a forceful headbutt to Keane's chest, knocking him backwards. Roy Keane's death stare to Wayne Rooney has fans howling after Man United legend reveals he sleeps with hairdryer on footage later showed the former footballer allegedly throwing an elbow at the supporter's face in the aftermath of the fight. Richards then did what any friend would as he stepped in to restrain Law before the attacker fled the scene. During his evidence, Keane was forced to defend his reputation after being accused of taking glory in his a hard man image. Defence lawyer Charles Sherrard KC grilled the star for holding the record for the most red cards in English football. He also brought up Keane's 2001 horror tackle on Alfinger Haaland, including how the ex-footballer later revealed he wanted to hurt him. Mr. Sherrard then suggested Keane had used gratuitous violence by smashing Law in the face. But the Republic of Ireland star said, I was assaulted in the workplace as a pundit and I was trying to stop him getting away.
That was my only intention. Keane claimed he and Richards were heading down for the final match analysis when contact was made with his face that sent him backwards through a set of doors. The pundit continued, the only way I can describe it is that I was in shock. I didn't expect it to happen, not when I was in my workplace. Keane told the court he saw the attacker being restrained by Richards, who was trying to make sure he didn't run off. The footy hardman then started yelling for someone to call the police as his fellow pundit loosened his grip on law. Keane, who suffered bruising on his chest and arms, added, we missed the final two goals but that was the least of my worries. His story was backed by Richards, leading Mr. Sherrard to brand the pundit a stooge. Richards was also forced to deny he was Keane's puppy as he was quizzed on the stand. The ex-Man City star explained how his colleague was physically massively shaken up after Law arched his head back during the brawl. Richards added, I felt a bit sorry for Roy. I was shocked and so was Roy, we were in disbelief. I think he handled it quite well. I intervened. I felt sorry for Roy, he came to work to do his job and he was assaulted. I did what any friend would do, I stopped him and defused the situation. Inside Roy Keane and Micah Richards unlikely bromance Roy Keane and Micah Richards may have been separated by the Manchester divide as players. but they have been thick as thieves since forming an unlikely friendship as pundits. The duo initially appeared to be chalk and cheese while appearing on Sky Sports. But despite their differing personalities, they have an underlying respect. Fun-loving ex-City star Richards, 35, once said of his notoriously grump United pal, never did I think we'd have a relationship like that. Working with him is an absolute pleasure. I'm in awe of him. Ahead of Euro 2020, the pair starred in their own show together, with their on-screen chemistry and friendship clear for all to see. The five-episode series, titled Micah and Roy's Road to Wembley, followed the pair during that summer's European Championships. The evidence flew in the face of Law's defense after the fan tried to paint Keane as some kind of animal pacing inside the Glass Sky Studio. He told the court Keane was puffing his cheeks out and banging on the window. Law said he had never really seen that behavior from someone who was working in the skybox. He added, Mr. Keane picked me out and started telling me to see him outside. He was pointing to doors in the box. The thug claimed he went inside the stadium to go to the toilet and encountered the ex-footballer, who then collided into him. Prosecutor Simon Jones KC asked, Are you seriously saying that Roy Keane ran into the top of your head? Law, who cried while being questioned, said, I put my head down in a defensive manner to protect my face.
But the civil engineer was accused of dramatically changing his ridiculous defense from a prepared statement he gave police the next day. Law also told how he had been an Arsenal fan from birth as he described his season ticket as his most prized possession. Speaking after today's verdict, Kevin Christie, Crown Prosecution Service London North Football League prosecutor, said, this gratuitous and senseless act of violence was completely unacceptable. Read more Sun Storiesoff track underrated UK theme park reveals four rides set to close this month cash in 10 freebies and discounts you can get on PIP in June worth up to £40,000. When anyone attends a football match, either to work or to support a team, they should be able to feel safe and secure in that environment. The Crown Prosecution Service works in close partnership with the police to ensure that all perpetrators of violence at football grounds are brought to justice. Quote, 